Hey guys, it's Erica, and today's video is gonna be all my propagations that I have propagating right now. So, there are a whole bunch around me, but <laughs> these are the ones that I have on my little table. And let me tell you that this table is way too small to fit all of them. So, <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult to give you an overview. I guess I'll start off with what I recently have propagated. So, I recently got a Monstera Adansonii and I was so happy and that thing was very full and it had a ton of new growth coming out. So, of course, I decided to propagate it. So, here it is. There are like three cuttings in here, I believe. Actually, there's more than that. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five Adansonii cuttings here. Um, they're really pretty just sitting here in this cup. The water's a little dirty, so I need to change that. Oh, next, what I recently propagated was this philodendron, just a regular Harley philodendron. And here are the two jars I had to take from all the, I had to put them in because I took a lot of cuttings from that plant because it was really long, but the top part is pretty bare. So I wanted to fill it out, cut the long strands, propagating them and I'm gonna add them to the top of that very soon. They have a lot of roots coming out so far. I always tell myself that I'm gonna write down the day that I propagated them, but I never do, so I never know how long a plant has been propagating, except for the ones that I put in their little Ziploc baggies, which is only the watermelon peperomia, and those have the days written on them, so that's really nice. And then here I have Pothos Enjoy. Its roots are getting a lot longer. And I also have this one too. But this cutting is rotting away before your very eyes. I'm hoping that this node will grow a root. So that's why I still keep this. But this rotten leaf needs to go. <laughs> so there's two Pothos Enjoys in here. And there's also this little Sansevieria that has a baby and some roots coming out. It's very cute. Um, this one was just dunked in water like that in a Taco Bell cup, but it was in that big jug that I had from my potting all my propagations video and it didn't rot, which is surprising because I just threw it in there and I didn't think any of anything of it. It just did it. Um, I'm really happy it rooted though. It's going to be a really cute plant. And what else do I have on this table? Oh, this is my Peperomia. I believe Orba, I'm not really sure though, that I have propagating. These are the only propagations that survived. And I'm not sure if you can see, but the one on the left does have some roots. Let me take it out for you. So as you can see, this one does have some roots coming out. This cutting right here, unfortunately, does not have any roots growing from it, but they have been slowly, oh, also the other one does have like a little baby coming out. I don't know if you can see that but there's a little green baby coming out. And the reason that the other one doesn't have any roots is because the the bottom part has been slowly rotting away. So I've been clipping away at it, hoping that it won't continue to rot and it will eventually stop and grow roots. But that's what happened to the rest of my cuttings. They did not survive unless I put them somewhere and I have no idea where they are right now because that is the very real possibility because I have a ton of propagations right now. And then I also have this right here. I'm not sure what this plant is called. I've heard it be called something like cross, like sticks, something with sticks. And this one has a little root coming out. I propagated this from a plant I found outside. <laughs> I feel like I do that a lot. I see a plant on the side of the road or like almost next to a sidewalk or something that I want and then I will cut it under a node and then just throw it in water. This one unfortunately does not have any roots growing from it, but the thing about this plant is that after I cut it, I put it in my car because I was carrying it around in my hand while I was getting tacos. And then when I went back to the car, I just set them down and then I went into my house and forgot about them. And the next morning I woke up and I was like, Oh my gosh, my plant! So I ran out to my car and they were a little bit dried because it's really hot here and it was already like 10 in the morning, yeah, maybe like 9 in the morning. So I quickly got them and I put them in water and they're just 
sitting here propagating now and I'm really happy that just one of them grew roots because after leaving them in the car I didn't expect for that to happen so yay next that I have on this table are my watermelon peperomia look how many roots are in here isn't that great there's just so many roots growing from these um for these ones I'm waiting until a little uh, leaf pops out before I put them into soil but speaking of watermelon peperomia, I'm going to show you my other propagations. I'm not sure if they count as propagations anymore because they're kind of like full-on plants by now. But I'm so proud of these propagations. Like, they're, they're my pride and joy of my propagations right now because I wasn't expecting it to work at all when I did it. And when it worked, I was so ecstatic. I'm just so proud of it. So... Let me show you the good stuff. I should probably be saving this for last or something, but no. I'm going to show you now. These are from July 2nd. I propagated these on July 2nd. And today is September 2nd. So, oh my gosh, that's like exactly a month. So, like two months these have been propagating. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at calculating on the spot. Like, okay. But anyways, these are ones that I repotted from where I originally placed the cuttings and they have grown so much they have look how tall this one is look at this baby it's like as big as my head <laughs> and there's probably more coming up but look how tall it is I'm so proud of this and then this one too this one has two little leaves it's doing great these were propagated at the same time but as you can see they are not showing as much progress no that was wrong let me restart this so these were propagated on june 20th and they were repotted on july 2nd into their separate little pots and then these are the other ones that i didn't repot from june 20th you can see here that this one leaf is like brown i think it's from it touching the edge of the bag which means that it's probably getting too much water contact because I do have them in their little humidity bags. And this is the last one, which this one I should have centered. This one used to have that same water contact mark, but I guess it, oh, but as it grew, it kind of came off the edge there, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, they're all doing really well all these propagations i am so proud of i am a proud mom of like seven or eight watermelon peperomias um so i'm not sure if these are still called propagations like i don't know when to label it as a full-on plant but i still have them all in their little humidity bags so for now i'm gonna call them propagations and what i'm really worried about for these plants is what i need to or when i can remove them from their bag and if I'm going to be able to take care of them from that point on because there's a reason that there's so many of these propagations and that's because I killed the first plant that I bought originally so that's a problem that I foresee in the future now I'm going to show you my <laughs> my rubber plant propagations so these are for an update video on rubber propagations I have coming out. Uh, honestly, whenever these root, I will have that video finished. But I'm videotaping their progress and how these are all propagated differently to see which method works. Because the first plants that I propagated, they died. They're dead. Those propagations are no longer with us. And that is why I have these. And let me show you how they look so far. This is just a little sneak preview, but you can see, I'm not sure if roots are gonna grow from those little nodes, but what I do think is that roots are gonna come out from those little white dots, if you can see. So I'm excited for seeing those roots come out. And I know you're probably thinking this plant is way too big to be propagating, but I'll explain it in my future video. And then here I have my other one propagating. They're all really dirty because I got these plants from outside. Um, 
But let me show you the progress on this one. This is how this one's stem is looking. This one shows no sign of roots in my opinion, but we're gonna let him sit here for longer. I'm not sure how many days they've been sitting here, like off the top of my head, but I'll probably put it on the screen. And then these two are, I do not expect these to be successful at all, but I just added them in for a little experiment. This is how this one's looking. This one is looking like this. I'm excited to see how this works out. I'll just do my next outdoor propagation that I have, which is this Shaflera. And this one, I have a video of when I take the propagation, but right now there are no sign of roots in my opinion, but that's fine because a lot of energy is probably going into keeping these leaves alive instead of trying to form new roots. So I'm just gonna let it take its time. I'm not too worried about it. I have a whole entire tree I could take the propagations from if this one doesn't work. These Diffenbachii also did a video um, propagating <clears throat> so here's the one that I put in water for water propagation and it does have these roots coming out so it's looking good but what I just noticed right now actually is this leaf was supposed to be a new leaf coming out and it looks like it's not gonna come out I think it died but at least it has roots <laughs> and then this one is the one that I placed in soil but for some reason I have no luck with soil propagation. The only things that I can soil propagate are my spider plants and my watermelon peperomia, which as you can see, I've had great success with that. And I would recommend soil propagation over water propagation for watermelon peperomia any day. But for anything else, <laughs> just water propagate. After it started rotting in the soil, I cut off the rot and I placed it in water. And as you can see, it does have roots growing. I think more than even the water propagation one had, but it's really curved like this. And I've been trying to straighten it out, but to no avail yet. So if you have any solutions on how to straighten this guy out, that would be greatly appreciated because I don't know how I'm gonna, <laughs> how I'm gonna put this in soil. Like, <laughs> That's a struggle that's just waiting to happen. Let's see what else. I have a whole bunch. I'm gonna move them down. I have a whole bunch of little propagations in smaller containers that I just keep around. Okay, this is my ZZ plant propagation. I also did a video on this one. I also put one in water which rotted, but this one is doing fine. For this one, I put the minimal amount of water inside just for it to touch where the bottom part of the plant is because i am so afraid of this rotting out because i wanted to make a new plant and <laughs> this is how it's going and then this is my elephant plant that i that i got from an elephant plant outside and they are everywhere where i live oops <laughs> and it wasn't doing so well at first because I didn't have a proper place to put it because I was running out of space. So I put it in a shot glass eventually and it's doing great now. Its roots are growing in, so I'm excited about that. I can't wait to plant it because I think elephant foot plants are really cute. I just never wanted to buy one, I guess. So I was waiting till I found like a bush that wasn't like it wasn't someone's bush that I was stealing from. So that's what I was waiting for. And then I have my two spider plant propagations. This one is the curly spider plant and this one's just a regular one, which it kind of looks curly, but it's not. <laughs> and this one I've had in here for a really long time because I just put it in here for I think my spider plant video and then I forgot about it and it's just been growing and whenever I remember I changed the water, which the water needs to be changed right now because it's really dirty. And this one, I think my mom put it in here because it fell off, but it's growing, growing little, little baby roots if you can see them. So I'm not worried about this plant either, but I prefer soil propagation for spider plants than water propagation, even though water propagation does work. It's just easier because I'm so lazy that I don't need to replant it into soil. If I just immediately put it into soil, I'm confident that it will grow and I won't need to repot it later on. So 
that's just me being lazy and I have here a bunch of string of hearts propagations and these are probably from my string of hearts video here are my string of hearts propagations I don't know let me look at the root systems I need to plant these I'm just so lazy to plant these things yeah they've got little roots coming and I think that those were all my propagations so those are all my plants that I currently have propagating um, if you let me know your favorite plant to propagate because I can tell you right now mine is the watermelon peperomia and um, let me know if you have any tips on what I can do for like any plants that I mentioned straightening my Diffenbachia propagation um, I, I've been thinking about using a golden pothos a rooted cutting and putting them into the plants that have not been rooting quickly. I potted all my golden pothos cuttings and I shouldn't. I should have I shouldn't have potted them. I should have just used them to root my other cuttings. <laughs> but um I'm gonna get more golden pothos cuttings and we'll we'll add those to the ones that are struggling because I've heard it actually works. So if you can attest to that, let me know. I'm probably gonna do a video on that. Having comparison between a plant not rooted with the pothos with one. I don't know if that would interest you, but that's one of the ideas I have right now. Um, but yeah, that's it. Leave your comments, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoy the videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.